everybody, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to London, England. We're at the Royal London Theatre. Our main event should be a good one tonight. 12 rounds between featherweights, and the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Lights out. Hey, keep fighting. Let's go. Oh, look at that. He's hurt. But hey, I give him credit. He's smart enough to know what to do now. Yeah, the referee needs a crowbar to separate him. Halfway through round number one. Come on, kid. Good block there by Wood. Lights out, showing you a little defensive skill there. I better move away from that punch. Good defensive skill. What a great round this has turned into. After doing the hurting, now he's the one hurt. Yo, this is about wit, grit, and spit. This is about fighting. Wood's right hand working well that time. He scored well. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Final 10 seconds. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Come on! Went to the body there, but unable to connect. A very fan-friendly round, but a headache for the judges. How do you possibly score that round when each man was able to hurt the other? Well, this is where you have to be a good judge. You have to be a professional judge. You have to use the information that's there. Who won the spots of the round before they each hurt each other? And who hurt the other guy a little more? Don't doubt yourself. You still win this week. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt.
There's a straight right hand. Parries that punch intended for the head. Woods clearly affected by that. He missed with that headshot. Well placed hook there. Halfway through round number two. Nice block by lights out. In moments. Yeah, that's the old cats with a ghost trick there. You know, you're there one time, you give him a little shade, you know, a little shadow, and then he throws at you, you pull back, bang, come right back with your own. This round comes to an end, and Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, Pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten him up. I just need you to focus. Keep your hands up and keep working the yab, okay? You double up the yab and you keep watch moving. The water in the corner. Too much. Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the metal of a person is when you test him, when you push him up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's shown what he's made of. Wood's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Looking good. Relax, relax. Good left there. Wood's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. <laughs> Teddy, what advice do you give in a situation like this when you have a fighter who's clearly been hurt, who's just looking to hold on and buy himself some time? Well, it's more than just advice. You know, I, I admonish him a little bit. I tell him, hey, listen, I don't want no excuses that he's tying you up. It takes two to tangle. You don't have to get tied up if you don't let him. Don't let him. Take a little step back and create room and let those hands go. Lights out. He's able to avoid that punch. Let's see some more head movement. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. What a 
big shot. Oh, that got him. That wrecked him right there. He's down for the first time. One, two, three, four, five. Six. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. And there he is scoring with the right hand. Count down the final moments of this round. He's tired. He's tired. That's okay. Pay him back. And this round comes Keep to an up. end. Keep it up. That's it now. Nice work out there. Keep fighting smart and keep busy. Listen. You need to move your head more, side to side, okay? I want to see that head move more. You got to give me the double jab. You You're not giving me the double so jab. You're only giving me one jab at a... Woods enjoying a big lead here, Teddy, and we talk about this often as we begin round number four up three to zip on your scorecard. When you have scored a knockdown that early in a fight, a real hole for your opponent to try to overcome. Yeah, because now he has to start taking chances that maybe weren't in the game plan. And as he takes chances, gets a little reckless, and as you're seeing, gets caught more. Keep doing what you're doing! Oh. He just missed that shot up top. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Woods in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Both fighters told us that they want to have a similar approach early on here. They want to show Woods damaged by a right hand. Get out of there. Finish with a hook. You're not focusing. on the wrong end of a razor sharp hook. And he's holding. No, he missed that right. He returned fire right there, and it worked after being rocked. Now, he gets his man. At this point, it's not about the skills and the abilities of these two fighters. It's about the dreams of them. And one of them is being eliminated. Little head knocking with that right hand. Ten clicks of the talk. Keep Able to land away. with the right. Now here's a perfect example of where you can actually see confidence growing in a fight. He was able to stun his man in that last round, and you just get a sense that he's a bigger, better fighter than he was before. Well, I agree with you, Joe. You, it's the accumulation of damage that's starting to get to him right now. 
stay away from the power hunt, okay? Keep circling away from that power hunt. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Keep moving. Don't let him get that power shot going. Now listen. Back to action here at the start of this round. That last round was very interesting because it was the kind of round that can turn a fight in a completely new direction. He did well. Yeah, you know, the old time saying was uh, bad start, good finish. Well, that's what he's hoping for, good finish. You see, he sits and waits and then strikes with that counter punch by lights out. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Woods way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Work the body! Keep going! Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Now he ties up there. An accurate left by Wood. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Wood's got that catch-me-if-you-can kind of attitude. He's almost daring his opponent at this point to try to land a headshot. But his movement's been so good. His defense is just supreme. Yeah, it is. He's moving from the waist. He's slipping the straight shots. He's weaving the hooks. He's doing a real magical job in there. But his opponent is making no adjustments at all. Seconds to go in this round. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old times used to say when you come in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. What a good war this has been. What a good, good, solid fight it's been. The kind of fight that tells me somebody wants to get rid of the other guy. It almost looks like they made a deal where neither one could win by decision. Where if they didn't win by knockout, it doesn't count. Eyes on his misses, okay? I want to see that kind of hook. Make him pay for his misses. The start of the sixth round. He's throwing a lot of punches here. Now his opponent is showing very, very good movement. What adjustments can he make to deal with that movement? Well, Joe, when you're fighting a guy who's smart, who's hard to hit, first of all, you got to shorten those punches up. If they're wide, they have no chance at all. And you got to go to the one place that's not moving. Guess where that is? Downstairs. Keep doing what you're doing. Fires right back at him. Defense easily turns into offense. Blocks a blow, sends an uppercut. Not able to land the headshot. Nice 
Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Teddy, you saw that coming. You said he was waiting for that. Yeah, what he was doing was he was just pulling that shoulder back a little bit, trying to draw that right hand, pull that shoulder back, be a ghost a little bit, disappear on him, come back with the right hand. Keep moving! Keep moving. Able to dismiss that body shot. Wood's defense is playing a prominent role in this fight, Teddy. Yes, it is, and specifically what it is is he has good fundamentals. He keeps those hands up real good, you know. They're attached, they're up around his chin, his elbows in. You know, he has a real shell there that's not easy to penetrate. Final 10 seconds. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. <laughs> Teddy, explain this to me. Hey, this fighter was just staggered and stunned. Now, all of a sudden, he's defending beautifully. Yeah, because he's on instincts now. Before he was thinking, he was overthinking. That happens out in life in a lot of places. And now, he's not. Now, just naturally, instinctively, survival mode is there. He's doing all the things, Joe, that he was taught in the gym. Things he couldn't do before because he was worried about doing them. He had too many things clogging his head. That's it. That's it. I need another round just like that, all right? You're doing good. Keep it up. Nice work. He's hurt. I need you to jump on him. In this it has been completely one-sided so far tonight, and he's in control as we start this round. Very nice defensive guard there. Well timed by lights out. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by lights out. He's got half of the equation figured out. He's throwing a lot of punches, but the more important half of the equation. Oh, what a left hand. There it is. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. Lights out, his opponent is floored. A knockout victory. Boy, was that impressive. As we saw, he was up on your scorecard throughout the evening. Woods now a winner by knockout. Listen, you want to win, you want to get to a title, you want to be successful, but you want to make money. And this is one way to ensure you're going to make money, scoring knockouts. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening.